Organizing the event. You have the BEO, the banquet event order, in hand. The contract has been signed. The event is here, and now everything needs to be ready. All a lot to organize, as you found during honors night. So the first thing is starting with your dining room or your dining place. So you have your dining room set up. Real important is your dinnerware. Um, you can make the uh, decision to either purchase that or rent it. Now, when you purchase your, say, your china, your dinnerware, um, usually buy 50% more. Now, renting 20% more. Um, you want to always be prepared for a little bit extra. So whether it's plates, cups, dishes, glasses, butter plates, parfait glasses, wine glasses, champagne glasses, soup cups and bowls, coffee cups or mugs, and of course silver, silverware or stainlessware, which would be your salad fork, entree fork, knife, teaspoon, soup spoon, and you have butter knives, oyster forks, uh, fish knives, dessert forks, or dessert spoon. Specialty items, you could have a wall of spoons. Uh, special plates, uh, such as Hawaiian plates, or Hawaiian shirt plates, I've used those. I think I showed you those at Baker Party Rentals. Could be square glass plates, uh, colored glass plates, um, all sorts of options available. If you look at some of the links, China will take you to one uh, a uh, vendor of such, or actually maker of uh, China, uh, Syracuse, and then Silverware will take you to another maker, um, and you can look at buying them, click on that link, and then also there's disposable wear, um, lots of options there, and uh, even and today it especially has become um, more options, as I think you just got to see Honors Night. Um, you know, you could have environmentally friendly items, or you could have uh, actually, we could, they're called reflections. Um, let's we'll say plastic silverware, looks like silverware, but they're shiny like stainless or silverware. So it's amazing the items that are out there. And then you also want, you could purchase uh, chafing dishes, the containers that hold the, um, keep the food warm. Now you have a glaché, a restaurant's bell-shaped cover for a plate of food that will retain the heat and then everyone pulls those covers off as, uh, or the waiters pull them off at one time at a table. Now there's a Garadon or a Rashad. A Garadon is a nice fancy cart, very elaborate. A lot of times it could be uh, silver, nice and polished silver. Uh, the waiter comes to the table and slices the prepared items. Very fancy. And there's trays. You have round, square, silver, stainless, oval, etc. You have coffee pots. They could be air pots. They could be coffee carafes, silver, stainless, glass, etc. Water pitchers, coffee urns, and those can come in all types of makes also. Ladles, serving utensils, bread baskets, silverware, etc. Creamer, sugar bowls, salt, salt, and salt and pepper shakers. Linen. Linen is very important for your event. It can really help showcase your theme or uh, the event in itself. Uh, click on the link. It'll show you various fabrics. Uh, we saw many of those at uh, Baker Party Rentals. There are basic sizes that are standard. Please look at this chart. Um, click on the link. That'll take you to uh, some linen fabrics and sizes, rent, and also some of those other links that are available. Now, uh, if you look at that chart, you'll see that uh, cloth size, if it's 54 inches, that will work fine for a 30-inch round or a bridge table. Now, if you have a 72-inch cloth, that is usually for a 48-inch to a 54-inch round or square. Now, a 90-inch tablecloth is great for a 30-inch cocktail table. Now, on your uh, page there, it says 30-inch round, but that's a 30-inch cocktail round because the cocktail table is higher. So that works great with a 90-inch uh, tablecloth. Now, you have a 108-inch Tablecloth works great on a 54-inch square or a round. 
114 inch works great on 54 inch square or round 120 inch on a 60 inch to 72 round and 120 by 60 is great for your typical banquet table 96 by 30 inch banquet table so you have, we went over the linen sizes. Now, linen is great for drama. It adds a great impact to any event. Uh, it makes a dramatic statement. When your guests walk into the room, it can set the theme as in lush fabrics for weddings or gingham for picnics. Now look at the fabrics that we use at Honors Night. That red really look great up by the theater. Color can add to themes such as red, white, and blue for the 4th of July, or red and green for a Mexican buffet. So click on those links, and then I'll take it to uh, your different sizes and charts. Now, rent or buy. Um, it all depends. It's good to buy and have a basic supply of maybe your linen or beige tablecloths, but then to rent the other linen that you need for special events. Now, there are plenty of issues with rentals. Um, we currently use Morgan uh, Linen here on campus. Uh, I've used Mission before and one other linen company. And there's issues with all of them, and uh, they could vary in their way of they maintain the products, um, their delivery, etc. Buying is very expensive, but can give you that signature look for your uh, establishment. Um, you do need to have your own equipment and staff for cleaning or you send it out for dry cleaning, which can be very expensive also. Um, disposable uh, linen that's more appropriate for less expensive events such as picnics or where clients like to pick up food. Um, you know, you could look at eco-environmentally friendly products also. So on this next slide, on event packing, very important, especially for off-premise events. Um, just like Santa, you need to check it twice, uh, three times is even better. Uh, rather, you don't want to look naughty when you arrive at the event site and forgot, say, 700 wine glasses, and it is 60 miles round trip back to the pickup for those glasses. So that's why it's so important to make sure that you uh, check it several times. So having that checklist is really important. Go through uh, these items and, and look at it. Uh, packing material, very important. You want to look for your towels, bar towels, bar rags, uh, linen bags, uh, different cases you may need, boxes, rags for glassware, racks for dishware, a shrink wrap, as I mentioned before, really important. So again, look over that uh, event packing list sheet. It's in your book as well as on the slide. You know, having your date, the room or place that it's needed. You want your kitchen needs, uh, party items, uh, your decorations, uh, trays you may need. If you have a child station or children's station, you need to list those items. Uh, if you have a seafood station, uh, whether you have one, two, or three stations, um, single, double-sided, you need to assess all that and list everything that you need. So this next side slide is on the dining room layout. You have the floor plan, which you've uh, learned in class, your floor diagram, and things that can affect the way that you arrange your room. Um, the room layout, many elements can affect the setup of the room, and the layout of tables, chairs, height, of the tables, buffet tables, the bar, and any other items such as theme stations. Elements can affect the layout are such as wind. Outside events need to take the wind into consideration when arranging the setup. Sometimes the arrangement may be determined already and some tenting may need to be purchased to offset that wind, just like we did for Honors Night. Sunlight that can affect your products greatly. Outdoor sunlight needs to be addressed as far as the direction it may be facing through the entire event. The head table would not be a good spot having direct sunlight at their faces. Inside, as long as there is drapery or blinds, this can usually be easily avoided. Entertainment, if there is dancing, there needs to be enough room so that a guest can move around freely uh, and not into the band, especially if there's no stage. Now, head table, um, those are done a little differently today, but 
they sh if there is a head table, that should be the focus. So today, instead of the table, groupings of tables can be used for the head table. Florists will decorate the head table using flowers, lace, etc. Now the link on uh, space in between tables does not work, but if you go to hotelplanner.com, it's a great site for uh, looking at di different setups of rooms, uh, such as theater style, banquet style, um, different ways to place the arrangement of tables in a room, and you can just very simply put in the number of people and it'll calculate the amount of space you need. Just remember, when calculating your room space, you need to subtract any room needed for a band or for a dance floor. A part of catering that's a great way to make more income is uh, selling of alcoholic beverages. Now, uh, having a license or no license, the reasons for having a license are a great profitability, 60 to 80% gross profit, which is much larger than your profit on your food. So that's a great reason to sell alcoholic beverages. Um, you will need to have a license if you're going to sell the alcohol. Uh, can purchase a temporary license for off-premise events. Uh, click on the link for a list of various licenses. At Orange Coast College, we need to have approval for the service of wine, beer, or any liquor on our campus. Um, and students aren't allowed at those events unless it's actually in a learning process. A reason to not sell uh, liquor is that uh, you may not want to get into the purchase of uh, alcohol uh, liability that uh, goes with it also. But if you go through this slide, you can see the license you need, uh, the different forms, different types of service, training that's involved, uh, the legal um, limits, uh, some different statistics that are involved, uh, some signs of intoxication, um, variants and products. Uh, the alcohol con content can be different and the legal age varies uh, in states. So again with legal limits, uh, determined by your blood alcohol level test, uh, driving under influence of alcohol is usually in the range of 0 0.01 and 0 0.02, which uh, is not much, but that's around four eight ounce glasses of wine and two hard liquor drinks. All this depends on the person's size, medication he or she may take, and women generally it takes less. Drinking on a full stomach also can lessen the effects of alcohol. And some of the um, signs would be uh, intoxication such as slurred speech, swaying from side to side, a glazed look in the eyes, tripping or stumbling. Tolerance of alcohol, uh, heavier weight can greatly increase the tolerance. Uh, again, the variance in prof the products, uh, the proofs. Now, how did that word come about, the proof? That used to be the, um, if you click on the link, it'll just show you, but because it could be ignited for gunpowder, uh, that's when it was uh, proofed. Uh, wines are 12 to 14 percent alcohol or 28 proof. Beers, 3 to 8 percent, um, or 16 percent proof. Hard liquor, rum is 80 percent proof, which is 40 percent alcohol. Amaretto is four, 56 proof, or 8, 28 percent alcohol. So we have this slide on bar and equipment. Uh, in the book, it has some basic information for your bar setup. Click on the link, and that can take you to a little more detailed information. Uh, as your book states, uh, you need your bar strainer, bar towels, bottles, um, bottle openers, uh, can openers, corkscrews, plenty of ice with tongs, scoops for serving, large pitchers, measuring spoons, mixing glasses or shakers, mixing or stirring spoons, one ounce jiggers, parry knives and zesters, and waste baskets. Um, so then, and then you have your mixers, garnishes, napkins, and barware. Um, the glassware that you want to have um, varies. You have a narrow tulip or flute glass for sparkling champagne, 8 to 10 ounce wide bowl glass.